update for all of you. We received word that the lander has reappeared from the backside of the moon. <laughs> and it's on its final orbit, only minutes away from the planned landing. So, Hakamada-san, seems like it's really happening. Yes. How do you feel? Well, it's really happening. Yes, uh, very, very excited to see very final phase of the, of the landing soon. Yes, so uh, we can really just hope and send our good energies towards the lander. So Hitachi-san, looking at the display, what is the status? Uh, so it looks like we, I think that the display is still the simulation modes, but I, I think it seems that um, if everything is going as expected, I think we have, sh we should have entered now the breaking burn phase. So it should be, um, maybe the altitude is about 25 kilo. And if everything is okay, then I think breaking burn is uh, continuing to slow down the speed from uh, 6,000, uh, from um, about 100,000 uh, kilometer per hour to a hundred, uh, sorry, a few hundred kilometer per hour. Thank you, Ishtat-san. And actually, for everyone here, we were able to download several images and videos from our lander over the last few days. Again, these are not real-time images, but they were taken from lunar orbit around 100 kilometer altitude. So let's have a look at these images. So this first image, Hakamada-san, look at it. It's just beautiful. Yeah, beautiful and then very incredible pictures taken from our under. It is truly amazing how a privately funded spacecraft can capture the moon and the earth like this and send the image back. Now, Hitachi-san, looking at this, I think this image also contains some scientific, very, very interesting speciality. Can you explain it a bit more? Oh, yes, yeah. So this is uh, the picture of the uh, the Earth lies on the moon, but most interestingly, you know, as you can see, if you can take a very closer look at the Earth, so we see actually the shadow of the moon uh, on on the Earth. So you see that um, uh, black spot there, the closer close to the Australia. So this is actually the shadow of the moon. So we we took this picture uh, during the solar eclipse. So it's really interesting to see this kind of uh, the phenomena. Uh, not from the Earth, but from the lunar orbit. So this is very ex interesting and very exciting picture. Thank you, Ishtar san And I believe we also have a video that I would like to share with you. Wow. Hakamada-san, doesn't this look amazing? Well, this is real video. Yes. Not CZ. No. Wow. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> it's really hard to believe but it looks amazing. So, Ishtach san we see something in the lower part of the video. What is this? Yes, I think this is a part of the our lander. So, this is a part that we call uh, MLI, a multi-layer installation, uh, uh, MLI. And we see the personal logo at the, on, on the right, right hand side. So, it's really great. It's really amazing to see this, you know, shadow and the bright part and the shadow part of the of the of the moon so because there's no atmosphere on the moon so it's we can clearly see the lunar surface and this is really amazing uh, video i'm i'm really amazed thank you and i believe we have one more image yet again a video <laughs> kamada san well, another amazing, well, video, I cannot tell any word. <laughs> Beautiful. It really transcends words and it is just amazing. So now I would like to ask Hakamada-san and Hitachi-san to join our crew on your seats. And for the last few minutes, we are almost five minutes before planned landing. I would like to ask you to continue viewing the event and let's all root for our lander while we wait for the planned landing.
Thank you. And now, looking at the status screen, the lander is still moving over 2,000 kilometers per hour. Please let me point out here that we might lose communication with our lander during descent. This is to be expected, and we will reconnect as quickly as possible. Also, if you see any sudden changes in the simulation, this might also be caused by our system of how we simulate it. Even if the lander appears to be on the surface or anywhere else, please wait for our final confirmation from our MCC. As soon as we receive final word, we will share it with you. And you see our MCC crew getting ready for the moment. Anxiously awaiting, getting their stations ready. Here in Tokyo, in our US office and our Luxembourg office, Everyone is awaiting. Now we are around three minutes before landing. You can see the tension in everyone's faces. But these are professionals and we trust them. Now, we see the speed of our lander in the upper right corner, around 700 kilometers per hour, under seven kilometers above the surface. We are getting closer and closer. The lander continues to fire its propulsion system, and we are now around L minus two minutes. Close to 500 kilometers per hour, under six kilometers above surface. We are only moments away from the planned touchdown on the lunar surface. Everyone who worked on this mission is anxiously anticipating how it will turn out. Please note again, communication with our lander may be interrupted during descent. And it might therefore take a little bit of time for our ground crew to confirm the status of our lander. We will share the latest situation with you as soon as possible. Even if you see the lunar landed, the lander, lander landed on the surface, we will update you as soon as possible. Now only 200 kilometers per hour, under three kilom kilometers above the surface. Only one minute to go. One hundred ninety, one hundred eighty kilometers per hour, under two kilometers. The lunar lander keeps breaking. Now in vertical orientation, only one kilometer above the surface remaining. We're getting closer and closer. About 120 kilometers per hour, 700 meters. We will soon have reached the planned landing time, at which point I might ask you to wait for a few moments for us to confirm the status. 60 kilometers per hour, 20 meters, final approach. 10 meters. And our simulation might have lost its connection with the MCC. No 
reason to, for concern yet. We are still seeing the animation going. Three kilometers per hour, only meters above the surface now. And now we are at the moment of planned landing time. Again, everyone, please give us a few moments to confirm. We hope to maybe receive a message from our MCC soon. If that is not the case, then we will need a few moments to continue investigations and we'll update you as soon as we have new information. Our MCC crew standing by, waiting to confirm. Everyone is laser focused right now. You can really feel the tension. Please allow us a little bit more time to confirm the status of our lander. Currently, uh, we have not uh, confirmed the communication from the lander. We already confirmed that we have established the uh, communication until the very end of the landing. However, now we lost the communication. So we have to assume that we, uh, our, it may, uh, uh, we could not complete the landing on the lunar surface. Our engineers uh, will continue to investigate uh, the, the situation and then we will update you the, the further information once we finish the uh, investigation. At this moment, what I can tell is we are very proud of the fact that we have already achieved many things uh, during this mission one. As I said, uh, we have been secured the communication at the very end of the uh, landing. That means we acquired actual flight data during the landing phase. That is great achievement for the future missions, mission two and the mission three. To that end, that is important to feedback what we learned from this mission one to mission two and the mission three. That's why we built our sustainable business model uh, to continue our effort for the future missions. I'd like to thank you, all of the employees who have, who have been contributed to this mission since the beginning of this uh, company and then to the present. And then also our families who continue to support us and the sh our shareholders, act to our partners and our customers and the suppliers and the everyone who believe in iSpace Vision. <laughs> 